Oh, no, wait, hang on. Okay, go. Hello. Hello. Fucking prick. He's a fucking prick and I hate him. Oh, oh sorry. Was I in the way? Wait. You and your shitty I internet. And your fucking... Ugh. Yes, uh, we're doing this uh, for the last time. <laughs> oh, your audio's cutting out. Okay. Um, right, we're doing this. Uh, we're doing this again. Sorry about my colleague. Uh, his internet's been a bit rough, which you'd know if you saw our last video, which you didn't. Um, yeah, we're playing this again for the last time. Now, I've played a lot of this, as you will attest to, Jordan, because uh, it would have popped up in your Discord. Um, but I've done a lot, and I've unlocked a load of mini games which we're not going to touch. Uh, well, Steve. we're going to touch one. And uh, I did all the survivals, and we've got Survival Endless. So, what we're going to do this time, I want to show off the last stand. And do you know what the last stand is? Oh, you know, I have a feeling it's probably a survival fight. Didn't get much of that, but okay. It's a, a good way to make a bit of money, is what it is. So, if I remember correctly, we're going to show off how to do that today. So... Now, this is something I did all the time when I was playing this for the first time. If I can remember what the thing is, I think I do. Uh, just there, there, there. Yeah, they give you 5,000 sun and it's basically survive Win. five flags. I always like the sleepy gloom shroom. I think it looks very sweet, don't you? It's okay. Now, I've unlocked all the plants, by the way. So the gloom machine's going to shoot, shoot in all directions, believe it or not. Funny that. Now, let me see. Now. Uh, okay. Now, these things are going to generate cash and these magnets will draw it in helpful now let's have a look and see if this is the right setup You nearly finished setting up. Yeah, I think that's right. It's not right at all, but uh, might be alright. It'll have to do, won't it? No, it doesn't have to do anything. We just have to hope that. Uh... Oh, we just have to hope we're all right. So that funnels them all into the bottom and top, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they they eat the garlic and they switch to the next available name. Now, oh, because there's a pool, they can only go in one. Yep. Oh, I think I should have put some pumpkins so on those gets... blue mushrooms, which is a bit annoying. But sorry, go on. They'll, they'll only um, what's it called? Um, you'll only get normal zombies then. Well, you'll get some you'll dolphin. Get... You get dolphin ones, and you get some of the pole vote polters, like this, which is why I'm a bit concerned. Because... Oh no, it's fine. Uh. Yeah, I probably should have put pumpkins on these two instead of these two. Didn't make the road quite quite long enough because the dolphin want to go right over that and get caught there. Um, whereas if I didn't have these two, which is what my original idea was, they would have gone there and nothing would be able to stop them. So we'll see how well this works. Ah, better now. 
Oh, it's our zombie. Yeah, it's wanking Hank or whatever the fuck his name is. Hmm. I don't believe we named him. Yeah, and we get a bit of sun. That's really important that you replenish your garlic. Like a, uh, like an Italian. Or a French. Would you like a topic? Yeah, go on then. Um, did you hear this thing with Hellraisers 2? Um, I have a vague idea of what you're talking about, yeah. So from what I gather, Hellraisers 2 is a video game that's very popular. It is. Uh, it's no. Hell Divers too. Hell Divers, sorry. And the um, developers have made a bit of a boo boo. Well, the the uh, production, uh, the company, or whatever. Uh, uh, I believe it's Sony that made the boo boo. Yes, they've um, made it so you need an account with their online thing. Yes, but Sony Sony insisted that you needed an account with them, uh, a PlayStation Network. Oh no. No, the problem is this that's being um, a bit of an issue. They, they had they had issues with their um, security, didn't they? Yeah. Well, well, so the issue is like... that um, that um, yeah, this is not good. You can't get that in some countries, can you? Yeah, mostly Africa. Uh, so there's a lot of countries where it would be popular, but because you can't get the account, you won't be able to play it. Now this kicked off a huge fuss and reviews bombed. Um, but I, I'm given to believe it's been rectified now. You know what, we're going to need to start this again. I, I also understand it has been resolved. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's just um, an example of... Uh, that's a bit much, isn't it? Throwing that at me. Yeah. Well, uh, look, you get the idea with that. I do get the idea with that. <laughs> if it was done properly, it would be fine. But I found it, it's... I think it gets harder the more you play it. Okay. That, um... Last stand. I think they throw more complex things at you, because there weren't any dolphin zombies in the in the example videos I saw. So, um... Hang on. Do you have more on Hell Divers? Not particularly. It has been rectified. They bombed the reviews and everything got sorted. So yeah. It is. It is a game that is on my wish list to buy, and it is a game that I see Amy play sometimes. All oh, right. Um, but it's very much. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't justify that expense at the moment. Mm -hmm. Sort of thing. So oh, I will. Yeah. When we when it's on sale, I'll pick it up. Yeah. I played the first one. And I wasn't that keen on it in the grand scheme of things. Can we talk about slang very briefly? Again? Yeah. But yes, this is a topic I would like to refer <laughs> back to. It, and where you're like, oh, it's nice when that happens. Yeah, by all means. Oh, there we go. <sighs> um, I meant to mention that as part of my watching a 90s, early 2000s uh, set TV show, I'm hearing a lot of American slang from back then. Buffy. Yes, I, as I'm watching Buffy, I'm hearing a lot of American slang, which makes sense. Yeah. Given their ages and all that kind of crap. Um, and I meant to mention it last time, but I thought, well, I'll bring it up briefly this time. Uh, one phrase in particular that has stood out as being a piece of slang is the word wiggings. What does that mean? It's a uh, sort of if something gives you the heebie-jeebies, oh, well, it's wigging you out. It's well, giving you wigging me out. Yeah, okay, I get that. Um, it turns out that is a phrase that was invented by, or at least coined by Josh Reardon for, for Buffy. Right. And I was like, oh, where did where did this come from? What is it referring to? And it turns out it's it's something that they came up with. Huh. So like, I can't even. It's good. It's always going to bug me because unless I, mm. oh, I'd say always, it's not like the Billy Joel thing. It's probably someone who's actually bloody 
ex- explain where they got that idea from, right? Oh, it, and it sounds right, doesn't it? It sounds like there's going to be something. Sounds like what that word would mean. Well, yeah. But now it's one that they made. Um, but uh, there is there is a lot of slang. See this? I've got double sunflowers. Yes, I saw. I'm, I'm watching. Come on, please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Would you like my connection, Sean? Uh, yeah, go on. Would you like option number one or option number two? Option number two. Option number two it is. Let me, uh, let me just go through my phone here, Sean. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. Um, Fields of Gold by Sting. Perfect Day by Lou Reed. And Dream a Little Dream of Me by the Mamas and the Papas. Well, okay, well, Dream a Little Dream of Me is a, um, originally anyway, a, uh, a, um, oh, this is not going well, is it? A, um, what's the fucking name? Doris Day song, isn't it? Fine. What? I don't know. Yeah. I had Ella Fitzgerald in my head. Mm. Well, no, I'm pretty sure it's a, a Doris Day song. What was that? What was the uh, second one? Uh, it is indeed Doris. Um, there was yeah. So the first one was Fields of Gold by Sting. Second one was Perfect Day by Lou Reed. Third one, Dream a Little Dream of Me by the Mamas and the Papas. Does something to do with the lyrics? Uh no. Is it something to do specifically with those artists? Okay. Their their versions. No. Right. The, these are things that are all on a particular list of fifty songs, and I do not believe it makes any difference as to which version of the song would be on the list. It's just that this happens to be the one that is mentioned. Um. May I have some more, please? Absolutely. Careless Whisper by George Michael. I Will Follow You Into the Dark by Death Cab for Cutie. And Do I Want to Know by Arctic Monkeys. Hmm. Okay, cool. Um, is it to do with movies? Is it no. in movies? Well, it may well all be in movies, but that's not the thing that's connecting me specifically, as far as I'm aware. Okay. Would okay. you like some more? Yes, please. Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. Sail Away by David Gray. Sail Away. And Wicked Game. Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. To do with tone. To do with what? Tone. The tone of the song. Uh, that is probably part of why they are on this list, yes. So songs that make you feel happy. Yeah? No, no, that's not. Right. It's not like this is a list of 50 songs that are the songs that make you happy. Right. It's Um, is it to do with more? I'm yeah, go on, go on, go on. Let's stay together by Al Green. Okay. Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Is it, is it, Love on the Brain by Rihanna. Is it movies? No, but you did do that already. Did I? You did say you did say that yes, and I said no. I don't think that is. They've probably all been in movies, but that's not the thing that connects them. Okay. You're only saying that because of Kiss from a Rose. It's not movies then. Right, okay. Um, no, it's not fucking movies. Uh, is it to do with how many they sold? No. Okay. May I have some more, please? Absolutely. I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire by the mm. Inksbox, Something by the Beatles, and Sexy Boy by Air. Is it something to do with video games? No. Okay. 
you're thinking that because of I don't want to set the world on fire. Yep. Yeah. Which was famously used in Hong. It was. Not many people would notice because of the. Because uh, there wasn't any sound, Hong. was there? Really? Well, there was. I mean, Pong. But, uh... So, anyway, uh, I've got more, but up to you. Well, yes, please. Into My Arms by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. 13 by Big Star. Gravity by John Mayer. Intro by The XX. Do I have any realistic chance of getting this? You might. May I have a clue? No. Okay. Um, I don't know how to give you a clue that won't give it away. Okay, so it's to do with sort of the tone, maybe a bit. Um, that's for, that's the best sort of thing I could say is the closest you've got so far. There's a particular tone that these supposedly uh, have that means that they are on this. Is it wistful? No. You know, wistful or nostalgic songs or. Uh, no. Sad songs, melancholy songs. Nope. Think about what some of them that you do know are. Hmm. Like the, what the actual songs themselves that you do know about. So, obviously there's there's, there's a few that you know. This plant imitates one of the others so I can get two of one. So I'm waiting for one to recharge, the other one's recharging too. Hope that makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah, um... Well, I was when I said wishful. Oh, you're going to like this. Okay. This is the best plant in the game. You like this? Um, Not a lot, but you'll like it. But, uh, yeah. Um, watch, watch. You watching? You watching this? Watching I've this? seen what these things do. Watching this? Watch. You see? Yeah, We're gonna be fine. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I'm th they all do I've have a more. tone in common, like sad and wistful and thoughtful, and maybe melancholic love songs, I guess. Or, or uh... ah, now you see that that statement there is closer than it, you've been before. That is the closest you've been yet. All right, that's promising. I've got more songs. Okay. Uh, Candy by Paolo Nutini. Okay. Make it wit chew. By Queens of the Stone Age. Okay. Trouble by Ray Le Montague or mm -hmm. Mon Montague, Montagni. I don't know. Uh, and Lose Control by Teddy Swims. I don't know any of those songs. Okay. Motion Sickness by Phoebe Bridges. Here, There, and Everywhere by The Beatles. Feeling Good by Muse. And Eat Your Young by uh, Hosea. Hosea. The breakup songs. No. Right. Mm. I chose the wrong thing to duplicate here. Um, what a waste. More, please. Okay. Uh, I Know It's Over by The Smiths, Harvest Moon by Neil Young, Crystallized by The XX, and Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow by Amy Winehouse. I... I honestly don't know. I'm giving you the best I can, but I'm just sad songs, sad wistful, wistful love songs, melancholic love songs. Is it to do with the fact that they're love songs? I would say that that is probably what has caused them to be on this list. Okay. Now, can you? Can Unrequited. You what this list actually, is love songs. No. No, that's not it. Okay, uh, I'll give you some more. Okay. There's Can't Won't Help, Help Falling in Love by Hayley Reinhardt. Yeah. One More Try by George Michael. I. She. She by Elvis Costello. Cold Little Heart by Michael Kiwanuka. Take On Me by Aha. Uh, Weird Fishes by Radiohead. Saving All My Love for You by Whitney Houston. Don't Delete the Kisses by Wolf Alice. Baby Can I Hold You by Tracy Chapman. River by Leon Bridges. Clay Pigeons by Michael Cera. This isn't helping. <laughs> no? I, I don't know enough about music. I don't recognise any of these songs. I I need like a clue. 
is what I, I would say that the the best song for this list from from this list for what it is trying to suggest that this list should be used for is careless whisper <laughs> And it wouldn't be the music that make I I think of. Oh, so it wouldn't be the words that I think of. It'd be the music I think of. First dance songs. Nope, but understandable. Uh, apology. I'm sorry. I had an affair. Nope. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. So Spotify does this thing where it personally, it supposedly personalizes an intimate mix for you. A, a mix of songs that it believes would be suitable for you to get down and fuck to. Right. <laughs> and this is the list of songs from my list of songs. Well, how the fuck was I going to get that? Well, the tone of, a, the tone of them. You were, you were almost there. What, with melancholic? Quite, well, no, with melancholic love songs. Yeah. You, were, you were so close, you just hadn't quite got as far as, as saying... Melancholic sex song. Sex song. And that's why I was steering you towards Careless Whisper, because of all of them, that's probably the closest to a sex song, right? Yeah. From the ones that you know, at least, um... I would say. So yes, apparently apparently it thinks I would want to fuck to Careless Whisper. Mm. Um, I don't even know most of these songs myself. Mm. Uh, and there's not many songs from this list that I can think of, but I would probably want to. Um, none of them are particularly good for it, from what I'm aware. What do I know? I am not a sex guru. I'm just a man who knows how to do it. Uh, I'm going to need some of these, aren't I? Oh, bugger. Or maybe not. I might be all right. I'm definitely going to need some of these. In that case, I'm going to get them twice. I'm going to play it safe and get these as well. Okay, that'll do. Should be alright. Better start doing this. Yeah, I, I almost wish I used Spotify Music because I like the idea of getting a like a personalised here's your year in music or whatever. I was hoping uh, I'd get one just for the, the thing that I was hoping I'd get one just for the fact that I uh, listened to podcasts on Spotify, but alas, it didn't. Uh, well, didn't pan out. The, there's a thing that it does where it, uh, it's got a personalised DJ, get and what it will do is it will play, um, it will it'll play like a, a group of songs that are connected in some way, mm. and it will be either they're, they're popular at the moment or they're a band that you listen to a lot of or yeah. uh, something that you used to listen to a lot of at a particular point of time and mm. you've not listened to it for a while so here's those songs again and all that mm. kind of stuff uh, which is quite interesting to go back mm. to songs that mm. you know and unfortunately that includes things that aren't necessarily songs so for example uh, Eddie Izzard who is a comedian I have had some time for in the past mm. um, has some of their tours on Eddie, some of Eddie Izzard's tours are on Spotify. I think so, it's important to note that uh, while Eddie Izzard is uh, transgender, I think now they they do uh, say you can you can yeah, call yeah, me he, Eddie, yeah. you can call me Eddie Izzard. It's fine. Yeah, and they're Susie now, so, are they? I don't know. Yeah. I, I've not been following. Oh, um, but either way, um, they've some of them are on there, which yeah. means that sometimes it'll throw out like. A chapter from that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's always a bit annoying, isn't it? When you've got like a playlist and you've listened to, you know, a spoken word video and it pops up, it's like, no, I wanted to listen to music. Yeah. I know it's like, it's fair enough. It's very easy to, to fix it. Mm. It's just, um, where did your plant go? I dug it out, and there's a reason why I dug it out, which oh, I'll show okay. you in a second. Is it so you can put a fan in? Yeah. Okay.
fuck. Oh, leave me alone, you bastard. Um, you, uh, you, of course, um, picked which connection you found you were going to have. Yeah. Would you like the other one? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do these in order, which means that you're probably going to get this in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, in 12 things. Well, let's just so see how right you are, shall we? 12 is the point at which I'll be disappointed if you don't get it. 15 is the absolute latest. Okay, well, we'll see how much of a disappointment I am. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we have Refrain, Net Al's Toen, What? Doors Monomore. What are you saying? Well, is this French? What the fuck are you on about? Uh, I believe. Uh, the frame was English. Uh, Net Al Soren is, I should think, Dutch. And Doors Monomore is Fran French, yes. They all mean the same thing? No. They all mean opposite things? No. Right. They all mean vaguely similar things? No. Right. Well, I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Okay. Go on, next. Ein Beachy. Which is Dutch. Right. Tom Philippi. No, hang on. No. Tom Pillibi. Uh huh. Um, which I'm assuming is English. Right. Uh, and Nu Le Amaro, which I believe will be French. Okay. Are these all names of things? Yeah, they're all names of things. Is it music? It is music. <laughs> is it? Yes, you. Thank you. Is it, um, the names of famous singles in other languages. Oh, fuck a gigantor. No. Hmm. I would not say that that is the answer I'm looking for. Would you like some more? Yes, please. Un premier amour, which would be French. Uh -huh. uh, Dance vice, which I believe would be Danish. And non ho lieta. Which hmm. I believe would be Italian. Hmm. I'm probably going to need this, aren't I? So are these... Okay, so what did you say if these are the names of famous bands? No, I did not say bands. Famous songs. Okay. Uh, I, I, you said, are they names of famous things in music? And I said yes. Famous bands or songs? It's, famous, it's a famous music thing. That is the closest I'm going. Right. Should probably double up on that. I can't double up on a special one. That's a bit annoying. Um. I don't really need that, do I? Um. So are these musical terms? No. Songs. Yes. Okay. Songs. Are they songs by? A uh, a certain band, famous band. No, no, they're not. Songs by an artist, single blown. Not, not by a, not not by a specific. Are they songs? Are they Bond songs? No. Uh, are they songs from a, a musical or a uh, a um a film? No. If I give you the next three, okay, you should get this. Okay. This is the point where I will be surprised if you don't get it. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> there is Poupie de Sire, Poupie de Sun, which I believe is French. Okay. Merci Cherie, which I also believe would be French. And a puppet on a string, which I believe is English. Oh, is this Eurovision? What Eurovision what? Winners. These are Eurovision Song Contest winning songs, yes. Like a puppet on the string, yes. That's why I would be surprised if you didn't get that. Oh shit, why you wouldn't, I would be surprised if you didn't get that one. Get it from that one. 
um, the next the next one, which you, I would have expected you to get it from, uh, would be in the next batch, <clears throat> uh, which would have had La La La, which was Spanish, Vivo Cantando, which was also Spanish, and of course, Boom Bang a Bang. Boom Bang a Bang, Boom Bang a Bang, by our good friend Lulu. Well, she's not friends with me, and she knows why. She knows what she's done. How many more do you know? Well, there's Bugs Fizz, there's Waterloo. Yeah. There's Einstein Dry. There's. Uh... That didn't win, did it? Did it not? Oh, no, the, the uh, big heavy metal people win, don't they? Finland. Um... What, back in 2006? Yeah, I think so. Mr. Lordy with Hard Rock Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know any more? Ukraine. With what was the song? You can't just name the. Fuck you, Putin. It's called Stefania. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised you haven't gone with a really obvious one because it's another one of ours. Oh, was it Engelberg Humperdinck? Lulu. No, I, he, he, I don't he, give he two did, shits about Eurovision. He, How am I meant to? Well, you, you seem to think I should give a shit about it earlier. <laughs> so, hang on a minute. You know, just... This this is how it comes back to bite you on the ass. That's why I didn't want to talk too much about it earlier. Yeah. I don't want to ruin my uh, thing. But I'm surprised you haven't mentioned Save Your Kisses For Me by Brother Little Man, thinking. which was our 1976 winner. Uh, I'm, even, I'm even more surprised you haven't mentioned Love Shine a Light by Katrina and the Waves from 1997. Are you? I am very surprised by that. Why? Because I'm such because a big I Katrina mean, and the Waves fan. Well, I mean, aren't they connected to Ireland in some way? I don't know. Oh, just because I mean, I'm, I'm half Irish, I must therefore know everything about bands with a vague... Connection to well, Ireland. I mean, now you mention it, you haven't at any point mentioned any of the Irish winners, such as Why Me, or In Your Eyes, or Rock and Roll Kids, or The Voice. Yeah, well, Ireland did pretty well, fucking well at Eurovision, didn't it? Or all kinds of everything. But you know, there's a theory that Ireland's been throwing the Eurovision con on continents just because it's so bloody expensive as a host. There is, there is that theory that they threw it in 1994, yes. Yeah. Because that was. No, sorry, no, it would have been 1995. Mm. Because they had won it for three, three previous years. And of course, that inspired the uh, Father Ted episode, A Song for Europe. Mm. How many times do you think Israel have won? Once. Oh. Twice. Unlucky. Zero. Sadly not. Eleven. They've won it, they've won it four times. Alright. They won it in 1978 with Abba Nibu. They won it in 1979 with Hallelujah. Uh, 1998 with Diva and 2018 with Toy. 2018 being the year I got completely fucking wasted at a party. All oh, right. But yes. Uh, there was a year with more than one winner. Oh shit! This isn't good. This isn't fucking good. This no, is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, we made it. Okay. Oh shit. We okay. This is not good. We should be all right. We should be all right. We should be all right. Gigantos really don't like these these custom spiky ones. Well, we got Gigantos, even if you would, but I wouldn't think. That's that fine. Oh, oh no! Oh, this is going tits up in it. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's um. It's funny actually that we count Lulu as a win. Yeah. Why? Because it was a four-way tie, and there were only sixteen contenders. <laughs> huh. So twenty-five percent of all participants won. Huh. <laughs> Poor Lulu. Apparently, there was no tiebreaker rule in place at the time. Right, I hope the fuck this goes a bit better. Right, you first, you second, you now, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Did you did you like that connection, Graham? Yeah. That was alright. I figured it was apt considering uh I nearly went with some people who've represented us. Hmm. Yeah. But I figured there probably wouldn't be that many that you'd get it from. Whereas if I did it this way you'd at least definitely get well, I mean there'd be a few that you would know, like Ludo and Sandy Shaw, but Oh well yeah. Yeah, I'm not a massive music fan as well, you know. Yeah. Um, hardly, hardly matters really, does it? I don't think anything's going to be massive issue in this one. This is the last one anyway. There's no gigantors by all accounts. So you have to upgrade two of those into one of them? Yeah, this is a corn cob cannon. And they're pretty useful if you get the stack. They take a little while to regenerate, but uh, if you get a few going, mm. you can clear the field. Prepare to launch for nuclear missiles, Mr. Ben. Mm. Bang. Boom, bang, a bang, boom, bang, a bang. <laughs> Actually, given that we're not going to get any more, you know, back minor zombies, I might as well just start replacing these with that. Time to replace everything you want to replace. Hmm. I don't know if you'll have time to replace everything, will you? Yeah. Gonna go on, fucking finish it. So I got my Thursday takeaway that I get. Well, that was a zoomy car. Yeah, I got my window open. It's a bit. It's been a bit warm. It has been warm, hasn't it? Yeah, and you'll be pleased to know I am still fully dressed as well. So oh, I that's a uh, blessed release. So am I. I would close it, but normally I've got my top off. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I got my Thursday takeaway today, um, um, and yeah. rather than buzz the 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 buzzer thing that yeah. gets through to me upstairs they rang my mobile all right and then wouldn't wouldn't come upstairs why not just it just it wouldn't do it huh. which is you know somewhat disappointing really it's like i don't i in this circumstance i will meet them halfway i'll start walking down once they're walking up right mm. so it's not like a, i just can't be bothered but at the same time it's kind of the whole point of a buzzer yeah yeah. You know, the mate, you brought the tube earlier. He let himself in. Mm. I don't even need to put him in. Yeah. It's a bit of a know, just safety hazard, isn't it? Because you just I, I get into your apartment what? willy nilly or your your building willy nilly. Well, so, you know, like the, the post can get in. I'm assuming there's a sort of special thing that they can do. Hmm. Probably. Where did they leave it? Just outside your door? Or something? No, no, I was here, so they. I, they handed it to me. All oh, right. What if you weren't? Well, I would assume they'd have left it at my door. It's where the other thing was left. The thing I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I mean, I'm assuming your thing was left at your door. Well, it was left in the um, or by the bins. But I live in a good area of town. Are you suggesting I don't? Yeah. Well, what you need to remember is that 
I'm on top floor. I'm the furthest from the entrance. You can't see what post I've got unless you come upstairs. And the only people who would be able to see are me and my neighbours. My direct neighbours that are right next to me and probably have better things to do than steal my post. You'd hope. I've not stolen theirs. So. Why don't you? Can't be asked. I get bored. We did it. Yay. Uh, how long have we been going? 41 minutes, okay. Um, <laughs> like one of my topics. Well, I don't have an awful lot left, so yeah. Um, What about the Gavin and Stacey thing? Uh, apparently one final episode. Yeah, after denying it was going to come back, it turns out it's going to come back for one final episode. Of course it is. So I'm interested to see, I will be watching, of course I'll be watching. Not that even find it massively funny, Gavin and Stacey, but um, you get one of these. Oh, that'll do. Um, I just find it interesting how it, James Corden just gradually took over. It's all this. It's the Smithy and Ness show now, rather than Gavin and Stacey, which was just kind of amusing to me. Uh, oh, well, you know, at, at some point we all become bit players in our own lives. Raging egotist we? monster. But yeah, um, yeah, I still think it was shitty to leave it like that for a while, because um, it did seem like they actually didn't necessarily know for certain whether they'd be doing another episode and I know you disagree with me on that but I think I think that was a bit shitty of them I don't think James Gordon gives two shit about anybody in itself yeah. um speaking of arseholes would you like to hear the latest loose woman or loose women drama well, I don't think you should be casting aspersions about people's looseness, Ben. Um, well, Denise Welch is on Loose Women. They had uh, uh, Dickie Arbiter on. Dickie Arbiter used to be uh, Buckingham Palace press secretary. Oh, and yeah. he was bitching about Harry and Meghan. And Denise Welch sort of fought back and ripped him a new one and said they had actually kind of valid reasons for leaving. Um, I don't like Dickie Arbiter. He seems like a fucking lick boot twat. Um, well, yeah, she uh, she responded um, and got a hundred odd complaints oh, from wow. from assholes. It's funny how people are only allowed to express their their view on things when they agree with when you when you agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that; it's just a stupid thing to complain about, don't you think? Well, I mean, people complain about stupid shit all the time. I don't know, there's 90% of all fucking complaints out. Well, look, I, I think I'm right and they are arseholes. I'm not saying they're not arseholes, I'm just saying, you know, it's what happens. People get the, the, the opportunity to complain about shit, they're going to they're gonna complain and talk shit. Have you seen this? Seen this what? Little kitty cat. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, this was a mistake. No, uh, okay. Well, people just like to complain, Ben. I know, but they're still twats. They will always like to complain because they have nothing going on in their sad little lives. Mm. Shame. It's a very British reference. Well, they are very British. That's why it bugs me when I have to to write American for people. Yeah, 106 sad fucking arseholes wrote in to complain about that. Okay, but how many people watched it? A lot, but, you know, 106, so like 106, 106 people. You know, how dare you be disrespectful to our royal family, to Her how Majesty's memory. How many people memory. have you had complain about your views on The Simpsons at one time? Oh, fucking dipshits. Yeah. <laughs> mm. it's, a fucking, it's an opinion you disowned. I know. 
Because they don't fucking read these people. No, that's what, that's why they complain then. <sighs> fucking moron. They think they're ringing for company, but actually they need to complain. Mm. Well, I am. Um, I'm funnily enough. I saw a video of someone that you've deemed to bring up a few more times than the average person would. Yeah. Giles Brandwith. Yeah. Getting um, his getting himself corrected on one of his morning TV shows this week. Yeah. What did he get corrected on? He was apparently saying that he'd had he'd been told that pe- the the terminology people were being told to use. When it came to breastfeeding, was in fact chest feeding. Is that not true? Apparently, it's only true if it is regarding a trans individual. Oh well, yeah, I mean that makes sense. They don't have breasts. A lot of them. They, they say they take which is chest fine. It's but such a uh, people are getting so het up over. They always do over over this well, sort of thing. It's fine. The, the, the thing that the um, the woman was saying that was talking him down was. Like this, this, there's much big. It's not, it's not whether people are saying chest feeding or breastfeeding that's causing the economy to struggle and the social services to yeah. collapse and, and mortgages to rise and all that kind of crap. It's not that that's the problem. Like, no, of course it isn't. It's just, it's a non issue that they use to stir up hate and well, yeah, it's such a an... you know, fight amongst themselves. Yeah, but people are stupid. They are. There's a lyric actually, um, from a song. Is there really? Find the line if I can find it. Uh, is so they're pointing out the enemy to keep you deaf and blind. Wanna sap your energy, incarcerate your mind, give your rule with. Tanya, Gassi, Pia, Perry, two, two weeks to the Spanian centuries. Yeah, I didn't get much of that, to be honest. Uh, fine, about... Ugh, fine, I'll just do it again. Yeah, please do. Okay. They're pointing out the enemy to keep you deaf and blind. They want to sap your energy, incarcerate your mind. Give you rule Britannia, Gassi, Pia, page three. Two weeks in Espana and Sunday scriptings. Yeah. It's of course a comment about the newspapers. Yeah. And you know the sway they have on the on the public's opinions mm. for whatever fucking reason. Mm. From one of my favourite songs there. Hmm. What's it from? Industrial disease. Uh Oh no! There's a bit here, shortly afterwards, where oh no, uh, two men say they're Jesus. One of them must be wrong. Yeah. Which um, you know, it's well, ridiculous, but like so obvious at the same time. At least one of them. Well, exactly. That's it. But you can only really confirm that at least that only one of them is definitely wrong, right? Yeah. It's unlikely, but there is a very strong. But there, there is there is a very possible chance for that one of them's right yeah and just that the, the subtext of that i read a story once about how um they got these people in this uh asylum who um there were like three people who all thought they were jesus or napoleon or something and they put them in a room just for shits and giggles just to watch them argue and uh, they eventually just stopped talking to each other and denounced one another, I think. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have time to be the Messiah. Why not? Have you got too much on your plate to be the, to be the fucking Messiah? Oh, I'm sorry, is it too much for you? Uh, I've got too much going on, yeah. Oh, it's well, why I'm cutting back on the site, isn't it? You have to clear your schedule. Well, you manage your time a bit better. I don't have to do jank shit. Hmm. 
I am clearing my schedule. I'm clearing my schedule by re- reducing the amount of science stuff I do. Mm. Funnily enough, I've only got three things to write for the next three months, and one of them basically wrote itself. Mm. I've already done eighty percent of the work for that one. Mm. Well, ninety percent technically. Mm. Well, well, I just. Well, it'll be sad to see it go. We'll have to write one final farewell thing at the time, won't we? Well, a few years down the line, yeah. yeah. Then maybe I can buy my hat. What? Oh, your writer's hat. My writing hat. That you, uh, that you never got. I never got because I never finished the writing. Did you never follow anything through, do you? Exactly, which is why once I finish this series, I'll have earned it. I'll have, I'll have finished an actual writing project. Because I think the, the project that will take me seven or so years of my life counts, personally. Yeah. I think I think if that, that doesn't count, then what does? Right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, exactly. Either that, or if I, if I make like a a million pounds off my captions. <laughs> but that's never going to happen. Find some and if it does, then we've got some serious problems going on. Japanese weirdo. I mean, I've already got a credit account with someone. So that, that's is, ridiculous. that is quite something. You know what? He paid me 50 quid, right? Yeah. No, sorry. That's not true. Uh, he paid me... Uh, and his balance is already down to 29. <laughs> In in two days. Well, don't look a horny horse in the mouth. Is all I'm saying. No, no, I won't. It's just, you know, it it's getting more and more complicated to do the stuff, and and it's got no, it's not no sense of art. This bloke. <laughs> well, look it's in so a stupid in two hundred years' time, when you're long dead. And people are discussing the artistic merits of your various captions. Uh, this will be reviewed as uh, one of your most interesting periods, no doubt. Well, you, I mean, no people won't be able to see that stuff. The stuff I'm making for him because it's private. He'll probably, well, he's probably a very wealthy individual. He'll he's probably very eccentric and will bequeath it to a museum after he dies after you and you become famous. What in two hundred years? Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, yeah, not in two hundred like... years. In in like fifty, you'll die, and then become famous, and then he'll rack up gambling debts and or caption debts, and uh, his heirs will need to sell your works as as uh, a way to make money. And I I will be milking that fucking gravy train for all it's fucking worth, mate. I can tell you that. Your memory is not sacred. I will sell every seedy story I have on you. I don't I give am a shit. I absolutely outlasting you. No, you're fucking not. I absolutely am. No, you're not. I am, because I'll murder you if I have to. It's bullshit. I'm not above a little murder. I killed one of my colleagues today, remember? Yeah. My lovely, lovely colleague called Cassie. Oh? Yes, that's the one. Just mm. like the George Ezra song. He mm. really loves those bloody calculators, doesn't he? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, he did a song called Cassie O. Oh. No, Cassie O. Uh, uh, okay. but, but, Honestly, I'm genuinely, genuinely my most reliable companion at work. Well, I'll have to tell the one who works with me now how little you thought of her. She's not there now, is she? No. Oh, well, she was your favourite, though, wasn't she? Well, it, it depends. Is she watching? No, probably, <laughs> almost certainly not. No, no one is. No. So I, I, I'm very easily irritated at the moment. Are you? For a while. You've been easily irritated for as long as I've known you. Yeah, well, it's a fucking long time. Yeah. People would stop being so useless and stupid and annoying, it wouldn't be a problem. But no, people insist on being people. 
you know, I had, I had like 12 phone calls today for some reason. It could have been a 10 to 20 minute chat. Totally. Yeah. It's like, and it's all shit that's already been covered. We'd already talked about it. There was no need mm. to be talking about it. Mm. Would you like another topic? Yeah, go on then. We've only got three left. I've already got three left as well. Okay. Um. What's all this? Well, what's all this with Drake then, eh? I don't know. You wear this? Do you know about this? You hear about this? Has he fallen out with Josh? No. Huh. Uh, there, there is a connection. Uh, Drake is a rapper, Canadian rapper. And yeah. uh, I only know about this. It's a testament to how big this story is that I know about it, frankly. Yeah. As you know, as stated multiple times, I'm not a massive music person. Um, not even an amateur music person. Not really. I like it, but I couldn't tell you much about it. Um. Yes, he's a he's a Canadian rapper, and there's been a diss track by another rapper whose name escapes me. Um. Is it Kendrick Lamar? I don't know. Let me let me quickly Google it with one hand. It's not the only thing you do while you're playing Plants vs Zombies with one hand, is it? Um. Sometimes you message me. Let's see. Kendrick Lamar. Um, I was right. Well, you that you said. I said Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Did you? Yes, you're literally fucking. You'll hear it back on the on the record, and you'll be like, "Oh, he was right." Yeah, it's uh, Kendrick Lamar. There's been a bit of a kerfuffle. There's been a bit a few diss tracks going back and forth. The most recent one, um, Mr. Lamar referenced the allegations of uh, underage activities um, that uh, have long haunted Drake. Apparently, he was uh, messaging actress Millie Bobby Brown. When she was 16 and he was like 31. Um, mm -hmm. Which is not not what you should be doing, Mr. Drake. Um, I I would hasten to... Look at all these missing. Point. Look at them. I would hasten to point out at this stage that the appropriateness of that does enter, d depend entirely on the content of the messages. I think he was giving her advice about boys. That depends entirely on the content of the messages. Now, I'm, I'm not saying I want to see the messages, mm. but I would say that there is a way that you could handle that situation and it not be inappropriate. Well, oh shit. It would be yeah. Difficult, uh, yeah. There is, uh, it, that, that, that entire situation is not in itself quite across the line as far as I'm concerned. I, I, yeah, I mean, there's been loads of allegations and uh, the front cover of this album was apparently, or this single, whatever, was the picture of Drake's house with like, uh, you know, those sexual predator tag things and your sexual predator in your area, mm. you know, all over his house because apparently he's got a load of mates who are into it too. Apparently, um, yeah, it was huge, and uh, there were references. Apparently, he, uh, I think that I don't quite understand, but I think there was a song released where he denied it, and reference was made to that bit, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Where they do the don't no, no don't diddle yeah. go diddling kids song. Um, do not diddle kids. It's no good diddling kids. The one no. way to ensure that people think you do that is by singing your fucking song saying you don't. Yeah, so um, why we've never this is why we've never released it. We don't want people to think we do. No. Um, because we don't. Doesn't no, we exist. don't. Uh, why would you even? Shit, okay, maybe we, maybe maybe we need to put out a song saying that we don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then some. But what if a security team got shot? At his house. <laughs> you do. So I don't know what's going on there. Now I need your help with this one because I, I tried this. I already don't know. What, I already don't know what to do. <sighs> okay. I would say realistically, the bottom option is our safest option. Really? Well, the top one, we lose our first thing no matter what we do. Second one, that's a massive fucking wall to get past. Oh, yeah. Well, we can use we can send in that, but if we send in that, that's going to shoot us twice. Yeah. And if we so use I the bungee say, to get rid of something, we haven't got enough money for anything else. No. And if we use that 
um, here, that's going to stomp us. If we use it here, the magnet's going to take it. And again, if we use bungee to get rid of the magnet, we haven't got anything for anything else. Oh, that's probably not going to work, is it? Whoa. So what, do you use the one with the hat on now? Come on, you can do it. The reason I was thinking the bottom one is because the star's not going to do anything, is it? No, it's not. I didn't even notice the star. Okay. Right, it's a thing that's definitely not going to slow us down. What do you reckon? Another one of these? I think so. Mm. I suppose so, yeah. Because you only need to get the brains, you don't need to kill all the flowers, do you? Mm, I think it'll be alright. Or not. I don't think we can get there, do we? Right, that's all the sunflower gone. I'm not very good at this. Too sod. Mm. Uh, Didn't you do one before? What? Didn't you do one before? Yeah. It escalates. Mm. Uh, um, this one's kind of fun. I think we'll do this one and then we'll call it. And that'll be it for Plants vs Zombies. Woo. That's probably not the best place to put those. Any fucking hoe. Shit. What shit? Hey, we're ready. We're ready to fucking roll. Gonna get boomy. Oh, this is proving to be quite simple. Yeah. Which comes to show you've got a self destruct mode, really, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck. That didn't go well. Could've gone worse. Could've. Could've gone worse. Mm. Oh shit. Oh no. I'm not looking forward to another self destruct. Yeah. I'll fucking do. Oh, it's the best I'm gonna be able to do, I'm afraid. Oh no. This shouldn't last too much longer, there we go. Come on, give me a wall or something. I need a fucking wall. Is it not worth throwing a pot into the first column? They go so quick though. I know, but it's, it's just a little bit slowed now. Oh, yeah, something. 
It ain't much, but it's something. You still got a whole, uh, whole flag to happen. Yeah, this one easier the first time I played. Oh well, god. Matters, no. Come on, give me something. I'm gonna lose that top row. Right. Okay. Well, this could have gone a lot better. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's something. I must feed nothing in the top rows. Whatever we do, we win. Yeah, we won. Well. That was an eventful game. So, yeah, I, I never went into this with the intent of completing Plants vs. Zombies, but um, we did it. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. Apart from that one zombie that we can't get rid of. That's the Yeti. That just, it's it just every one in every thousand or something will be a Yeti. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's my little Zen garden. You may notice we picked up a bar of chocolate earlier. It's supposed to speed up the snail, but it doesn't really do much. Runs around and collects your coins, but I have never really liked a Zen garden. So, yes, I hope you like Plants vs. Zombies. What did you make of it? It was yeah. alright. Okay, well, well, um, yeah, uh, next time I do have a game in mind. Next time, um, you do, don't you? yeah, so I'll have to get that sorted. Um, we'll, uh, We'll talk then. So bye. Bye, everyone.